Welcome to Assistant on Air, where we have conversations about building for Google Assistant. I'm Tony, and I'll be your host today. I'm a developer relations engineer for Google Assistant. And today, we'll be chatting with Jessica, who is also a developer relations engineer for the Google Assistant. So welcome, Jessica. Hi, thanks for having me, Tony. I'm excited. Great to see, to see you. you. Yeah. Oh, likewise. Uh, definitely an exciting day. We've got some. We've had some big news come mm -hmm. through for the assistant. Um, yeah, yeah, we've had some really big news, and I would say not everyone was expecting it necessarily. Um, I know some folks were, and something that's I think really future forward looking, which is exciting. But mm -hmm. um, ultimately, the news is is that we're pivoting from Google Assistant into being to working closer with our Android kind of ecosystem world. Um, that way it makes it easier for folks, specifically developers and users, to use Google Assistant. And so the big news, of course, is when it comes to conversational actions, we'll be setting setting them in a year from now. Gotcha. Uh, and conversational actions are all of those voice applications that are just voice only, yeah. that has no display, has no phone, or has no devices tethered to it, or um, a voice application that is on our smart displays. So generally using Canvas yeah. um, as the web application to show images. So those um, type of conversational actions, those will be sunsetted, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, and you did mention that's going to be a year from now. So Correct. Yeah, um, we want to make sure we gave enough um, heads up and notice for folks because yeah. I know um, when it comes to voice applications, ability that, and I know I've built several of them, it's a lot of work and it's complicated and it's hard, um, but uh, we want to be able to give enough notice so that folks can educate their users. We're moving to something else, um, ideally to app actions and have that experience in app actions. Um, or just be able to sunset them gracefully too. Right. Yeah, that's a big change. So definitely good, uh, good thing to share out early and often. Exactly. Yeah, we want to make sure that we were transparent with our developers as well and our users that we are making this pivot and we're going to put a lot of energy into the Android experience when it comes to voice. And we want to make sure that people know where we're going too, because mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we provide a great experience for everyone and voice is still really new. We're still in the early stages. So I think this is something that's really exciting to, to be able to pivot over to. So could you talk a little bit more about where we are pivoting to? What is this app actions thing yeah, that you're yes, talking about? Yes, app actions thing I keep alerting to. So app actions is how Android developers can integrate with Google Assistant. And so you can um, say a command and a trigger and do a, an Android deep link into the application. Gotcha. Something that's really nice is you can pass parameters from the user's um, verbiage. So if they say, you know, hey, geez, you know, start pizza order, the application will be able to open up on um, an ordering of the pizza. Yeah. And so now it makes it easier for users to kind of fast track into the application as well. Gotcha. And this is just the beginning too. So um, I like to let folks know if you're coming from the conversational or voice side, this is kind of like a single shot um, experience when it comes to voice, right. where a user says something and you, they get their fulfillment immediately um, with all the parameters passed over to it. So gotcha. again, this is still really early stages, but we're really excited where this could go because Android um, within their ecosystem, they're pivoting over and expanding more to make it easier for these devices or for multiple devices to support Android too. Right. Yeah. And the Android ecosystem is huge. There's so many different device types. So, you know, could you talk a little bit more about how this is going to benefit developers and users Definitely. with that larger ecosystem? Yeah. So with an, as an Android developer, you could build an application and then you can expand it so that it could be um, on, on where. Mm -hmm. So you can have it where it's on watches and other items, or you can expand it and build out an Android application for cars. So Android mm -hmm. for cars is another way that you could do that. And you're still keeping the core functionality, and now you're just expanding that to make it mm -hmm. those experiences available on those different devices. And again, this is still early days where right now this is what we're venturing, but we imagine this is going to go even further out. Yeah. And what this means within Google Assistant is that an Android developer now just needs to identify what functionality do they have? What are the voice kind of comparables? And we call mm -hmm. those um, built-in intents within the app actions world. Identify those app act, or those built-in intents that work for the Android app. Put that into their uh, manifest and then figure out where they want to have their Android intent um, open up the Android application, okay. passing in those parameters. Yeah. So it's a small um, kind of extra work to add invoice in there without the Android developer necessarily having to learn 
all the NLU and machine learning when it comes yeah. to voice development. Yeah, and conversational design is a, a very deep, uh, <laughs> deep pathway to learn and yeah. can be really complicated. So um, definitely benefits developers not having to go super deep into that to be able to scale this, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, this makes it a lot scalable for the, the Android application. So now it's, they're only having to build things kind of once and then just figure out where they want to pipe things through. But then from the user's point of view, it's also really nice right. because now they're not having to learn, oh, is this um, experience, you know, do I have to say it this way within this context? I'm in the car. Do I have to say it a little differently? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, the application will be able to support it and figure out, okay, you're in this context. Cool. We're going to do it this way. Yeah. So it's the same consistent experience for users. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so you know, if a developer still wants to build with the assistant, how can they do that now? Yeah, of course. So we still have, of course, that app actions pathway or developer pathway that we have. We also have our smart home actions. And so smart home is all about hardware mm -hmm. and connecting it to Google Assistant. So you can say things like, hey, Google, turn on the lights. Hey, Google, do X, Y, Z. Yeah. And it will affect something out in the world that's hardware. Mm -hmm. And within those two developer kind of um, development paths, for App Action Smart Home, we actually have a learning pathway for hmm. each of those. So let's say you have zero experience within Google Assistant and voice applications. You can do these pathways, and there are videos and code labs that will walk you through from zero knowledge to building out your first application gotcha. with voice, which is really lovely. Um, and then at the end, there's a quiz. Um, and of course, once you pass the quiz, you, you need a reward. Yeah, so of course. <laughs> um, you get a developer badge in our Google developer kind of ecosystem that we have. So if you have a profile, you get a badge saying that you've done this as well. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and what about for folks who are more interested in like media stuff? Totally. Great question. Uh, when it comes to TV and radio, we have our media actions that are available. So if somebody has those, um, one of those two or both, um, they can apply to be part of our media actions um, program that we have and you just have to go to our developer docs to sign up and that way they get additional support because when it comes to TV and radio, they're slightly different um, mm -hmm. user experiences and we want to make sure that those are handled well. Gotcha. Well. That's that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, a lot of changes that are happening. You know, if I'm a developer or just a really curious user, how can I stay up to date with all of these and, you know, just be aware as things are changing? Right, of course. Um, like with any sunset, we it, there could be things that happen between now and a year. A year is a long time. And so I know I always like to stay up to date as well. We actually have in our developer docs a page, a resource all about the sunset. Okay. And so it goes into um, which actions get or does this apply to? What are the develop different developer paths that you can gotcha. do, commonly asked questions as well. So it really is a great resource. That's great. And you can access it through our short link as well, which is goo.gle forward slash ca dash sunset. Uh -huh. okay. And so, and that's all in the developer doc. So anything you, that you want to know, it will be listed there. Awesome. And uh, what about the community um, support pages? You know, there's there's a lot of different areas where Google Assistant has been uh, right. is talked about in the community. Totally. Yeah. So. Google Assistant, we've been um, available for developers to build onto for about five years now. And so we have a really rich ecosystem. And of course, our Twitter account's going to stay available. Our Reddit community is going to still be there. We'll still be supporting our GitHub and, and all of those resources. Okay. We're pretty much still continuing as, as is, um, except for the exception of our conversational actions will be sunsetted. Gotcha. So from our point of view, we're still really invested in the voice space. We're still going to be supporting developers. It's just now with this refocus on how do we have this voice capabilities within our Android world. Gotcha. And so it's really bringing in our Android world and our Google system world and having them play well together. Yeah, better together. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Definitely better together. Great. That's awesome. Well, thank you for giving all this, uh, that information and sharing that out. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for coming to join us today. And for everybody, uh, we hope that you like today's show. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future episodes of Assistant on Air that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. And uh, as Jessica mentioned, we still are going to have our Twitter page. So, you know, follow us there for updates, any new episodes. And then um, we also have a newsletter you can sign up for as well. Yeah, so, yeah, that's uh, still going strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can find the link for that in our docs. So, thanks for joining us. And I've been Tony, and we'll chat with you next time. Yeah.